Welcome everyone to this devotional time. It is day 30 with the Apostles' Code, Unlocking the Power of the Holy Spirit in Your Life by O.S. Hawkins. And this is day 30 of 40, so we'll have a total of 40 devotions, and this is number 30. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we thank you that we have life in you, that you look at our bodies as your temple, that it is a dwelling for the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Lord, to quicken our spirits so that we would hear your voice and accept you at your word. All these things we pray in the strong name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you ever had a confidential prayer partner? One you totally trusted with and with whom you could confidentially share your deepest prayer needs? One who believed in you and with whom you agreed in prayer? Would you like to have a prayer partner like that? You already do. The Bible tells us the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us. He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God, Romans 8, 26 and 27. I don't know about you, but I often need help in prayer. I don't always know how I should pray about a matter, but the Holy Spirit in me does, and he always prays according to the will of God. Yes, the Spirit can help you and me in our prayer lives. The word Paul used to describe how the Spirit helps us means literally to lend a helping hand. The word picture is of two people carrying a log, one on either side, each dependent on the other to hold up his end. The same Greek word appears in Luke 10:40, when Martha appeals to Jesus to get her sister Mary to help her in the kitchen with the preparation of dinner. In the same personal and practical way, we need the Holy Spirit to lend us a helping hand with our prayers. Help we won't find in any earthly plan or program. There is a powerful synergy at play when we recognize we have a personal prayer partner in the Holy Spirit, one who is not just by our side and on our side, but alive inside us. The code word for today is dinner. The next time you prepare dinner, set the table or sit down to dinner, remember Martha, and the way she needed Mary's help in the kitchen is the same way you need the Holy Spirit's help in your prayer life. This from Deuteronomy 32, verse 30. One could chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight. Our prayer for today, Lord, help me to know how to pray and what to pray and for whom to pray. I wait before you to listen to your still, small voice. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends, for joining today. I pray the Lord will bless and keep you until we meet again. And I hope and pray that is day 31. Thank you. Bye.